Prince Harry is loving the spirit of the 2022 Invictus Games. On Thursday, the Royal was at The Hague in the Netherlands, where he met and greeted a member of Team Netherlands basketball team, who arrived in a hospital bed. Former Marine Jel van der Steen underwent surgery just last week, but wanted to be at the games to support his teammates during the wheelchair basketball competition on Thursday. The Duke of Sussex was all smiles as he greeted van der Steen, embracing his hand and smiling while photos were taken at the event. The Royal has been in the Netherlands for the 2022 Invictus Games. Also joining Harry for various parts of the games has been his wife, Meghan Markle. The Prince founded the games back in 2014, and it holds a special place in his heart. Prior to the Invictus Games, Access Hollywood previously spoke with DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston about life after Meghan and Harry exited as senior working royals in 2020, and how they are perceived in the UK since moving to America to live a more private life. I think the shock of Mexit has definitely worn off. I think the general feeling now among people in the UK is almost a kind of not knowing what will happen next. I think Meghan and Harry have continued to prove that they will throw curveballs at every available opportunity, whether that's an Oprah interview that kind of devastates the royal family, or whether it's an appearance on Ellen where, you know, Megan is kind of playing the fool in a silly prank. Um, so the shock, yes, definitely worn off, but the apprehension is still there. I don't think anyone knows what they're going to do next. And that still means there's a little bit of fear within the royal family, especially, you know, they're kind of, they've almost become like the Thomas Markle. You know, there was a time where no one knew what Thomas Markle was going to say next, what he was going to do next, what TV show he was going to appear on next. And I think Harry and Meghan have now kind of prompted that same feeling in the UK and especially within the royal family. And I can imagine that behind closed doors, Buckingham Palace's most senior advisors are still very nervous about what the two of them could say next. We obviously know that Harry is planning on writing a book and there is a huge amount of fear about what might be written in those pages. So we just have to wait and see.